It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these NFC South foes. It's the Panthers and the Bucks coming up next. Few better places in the country weather-wise this time of year than this one right here, Tampa, Florida, and beautiful Raymond James Stadium. Today, we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, the vibe, a different one here in Tampa this year. This is year 1AB after Brady. What can they do to help soften the blow? I would say try and lean on the defense a little bit more. I think they'll play a lot better in 2023. We know how exotic they can be with how they get after the quarterback. Make sure they slow people down running the ball as well. Give this offense a chance to grow because they are under new management. Meanwhile, optimism reigning with the visiting Panthers. They've got a new coach. They've got a new quarterback. And they've got a real chance to be a playoff team in 2023. And a lot of it starts on the defensive side of the ball where they've been good for the last few seasons. If the offense joins them, they will be a tough out in the NFC South. Here's the former Florida Gator, Eddie Pinheiro, to get us started. And off we go from Tampa. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here are the Buccaneers ready to go on offense with a new man at the helm here for 2023 in his sixth season now in the NFL, Baker Mayfield. The former number one overall pick has had his ups and downs in recent seasons, but he finished strong last year and inherits a really good offense in Tampa that should set him up for success. Now a third round pick a year ago. Here's Rashad White. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. So from the 26-yard line, here's a second and eight. Mayfield off the play fake. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try the right side here with White. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second and a couple. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. And the Panthers will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time, and Charles will get a look at the much-heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. Bryce Young, the quarterback out of Alabama with a Heisman Trophy in his hip pocket, 
is the new face of Carolina football. 80 touchdowns, just 12 picks in his college career for the Crimson Tide. He may be a little small in terms of size, but potential, massive. A man who joined the Panthers from the NFC champs, it's Miles Sanders. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. That's a very nice game there, a confidence-building run. Love the execution up front, and the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. A play fake, now Young. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. So, Charles, you know, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well, see if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. Young on first down. Now throw out wide, going to be incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And Shark hauls it in. And he takes it down to the ten yard line. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far right, is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. He'll find Thielen work in the middle. A gain of nine there. Sets up second and goal. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Young with it, third and goal. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. The Bucs defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. They try to throw on fourth and goal from the two, and the Bucks defense, they'll celebrate the goal line stand. They kept it in the air on fourth, Charles. They ran on first and second down, tried it through the air on third and fourth, couldn't come away with anything on fourth and goal. And remember, in these situations, the field is really condensed. Everything is squeezed tight. So as a defender, you can actually take more chances here because they won't have as much time to throw the football, and a receiver really can't run past you. If they do, they run out of the back of the end zone. Nice job by the D, shutting them down. They start the drive with Vaughn. And he was very fortunate there to get out of his end zone. He maybe got back to the two-yard line. 
Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. They'll go up the middle with White. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Young now. That is caught by Thielen. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Heck of a start. A 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. It's Young off play action. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 24 yards. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Sanders will take this one in. Touchdown, Carolina. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Tampa Bay offense set to go again. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start the drive with a give to White. Oh, able to avoid him. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. 
On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They keep it on the ground, White again. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 52 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Mayfield now. And his throw here is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Here's second and 10. to throw Mayfield a throw left sideline falls incomplete well it doesn't take any great analysis no jokes partner okay all right on this one but we just know that we're going to see this as the game moves forward there's going to be two guys on him on just about every snap it's kind of a dare to throw his way but they have to keep throwing his way the benefits could be great you throw it to a great receiver he could come down with it anyway Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Now here's Young. They're throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. On play action, they'll throw. This one into the hands of Thielen. A big play there for Carolina. 47 yards. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Panther football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Young off the play fake. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. Two yards that time, a stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. Second down and eight. It'll be Young again. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. That throw by Young incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Now Young. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So Young will head to the sideline, and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. This is up and good from Pinheiro, and that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target, and it adds to this first-half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one-score lead, two-score lead, etc., but this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. In just about every special teams meeting, there's a discussion with the punter about his importance. Why? He can flip the field for your team defensively, move it deep into their own territory, or if you're backed up on offense, and he can hit a big punt and change field position and help his defense. In this case, though, field position got flipped by the return team. You can do it so many different ways on special teams. First down, Mayfield. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That one good for 37 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Here's White. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Rashad White, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers have got it back to within a score. And on his way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing the run making sure you power your way through one-on-one -on -one tackle no running back wants to go to the bench and say ah i got stopped just short chase mclaughlin on for the extra point and they're back within a field goal it's 10-7 now well it wasn't a one-play drive but i think they'll take it the scoring summary two plays and into the end zone
Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. They go play action. Young. And that's complete to Sanders. Just a gain of a couple there. And now it's third and three. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Third and short yardage, Young. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Offense heading back out, and with them comes Rashad White. Now the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A very solid gain of 27. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here. And they get good yardage that time and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Going right side is White. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. The Bucks on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. Mayfield looks to throw. That is caught. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I love it. He ran a hitch route on third and six. And normally that's not deep enough to get your first down. I'd say he really ran a hitch plus to make sure he got the first down yardage. Really intelligent route running. Yeah, because what do you say? Hitches are normally one to three? Yeah, somewhere in the neighborhood. You just kind of come off the line of scrimmage and kind of show yourself to the quarterback and say, hey, here I am, present it. He went in and took it far enough downfield to make sure that they had enough yards to pick up the first down. So the completion results there in nine yards, and they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Oh, 
Here's Mayfield running the option right. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. And a fast footwork by White. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Second and ten. Now a give up the middle. This is White. He's able to get six. A nice pick up down to the 21. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a box first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Here's a second and eight. On the draw, here's White. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they can keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? Uh, I like to credit the defense I'm, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. Young now after the fumble recovery. That one into the hands of Thielen complete. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Young looks to throw on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll set up to throw. Short throw underneath to Hurst. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Defense! 
They'll come up now, third and three. Young to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. He'll get this to the rookie, Jonathan Mingo. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw, Young. Left side here to Sanders. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short gain. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. To the air once more, Young. It quickly to Thielen here. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. First and 10, Young. And this one into the hands of D.J. Shark. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, this from 34. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So able to add on to their first half lead here, Charles, forcing the miscue with a fumble and then turning that into three points. Yeah, and more than happy to accept any mistakes the other side is willing to make. No problem. You turn it over, we'll take that, and we'll use it to expand our lead. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, we saw the veteran Miles Sanders doing his thing. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. They had tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Adam Thielen, he gets set to go again with the rest of this offense. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Second half will start with a run by Sanders. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second down and three. Here is Young. Open man is Mingo, complete. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A give running left, it's Sanders. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? 38-yard line, second and nine. Young will set to throw. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it call it a gain of six on the play and now we've got a third and three I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business yeah 230 240 range yeah not not super huge maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days but you can flex him out you can run wide receiver routes with him you can make him a primary target and that's how he'll shred a defense well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And this will be taken at the 13. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. They stay on the ground with White. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. That's a nice run to get himself back on the horse after his fumble. Nothing spectacular, but a good confidence-building run. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Love has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. First down, here's White. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. 
Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Now a second and two. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. That is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They run straight ahead here with White, and he will have a first down here at about the 40. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Mayfield on play action. He'll get that out to the flat to White. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On the give, it's White. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? On third down, a run from White. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They go play action. Mayfield looking downfield for Godwin. He right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Panthers will take over here at their own 12-yard line. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. Carolina getting set to take the field. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 40 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game. And, and he cannot get away, and Young will go down. Joe Tryon Shoyinka showcasing the pass rush. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. Gets it up around the 22 and no further. Did show some power on the run, but not a whole lot of room. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And Young's throw there incomplete. 
So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football and now zapped right back in the other direction. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The Buccaneers offense ready to rock and roll again. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. I had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass, and then finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Yeah, boy, it is tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And Godwin going to have a box first down up to the 47-yard line. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. He got 29 yards that time. A couple of first downs right in succession. And this is an offense that can really use a good drive. And they're off to a fast start here. Mayfield off the play fake. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. It's Buccaneer football, but they've got work to do. They find themselves behind here to start the fourth quarter. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Mayfield to throw it. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, it will look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. And a smart play there. He's probably saying... I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. After the made field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. Oh. 
And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Fourth quarter, they cling to a three-point lead after the field goal a moment ago, and it's certainly a very critical drive with still a good chunk of time remaining. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Another run with Sanders. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 59 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. The throw down the field, caught by his running back. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 34. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Up the middle they go with Sanders. He finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Second down back to Sanders. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Right down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. Ball at the nine on second and eight. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. So a toss play there does the trick as he's into the end zone. And you don't run this unless you're sure you've got a guy who has the speed who can get to the edge because what you're hoping for, for him to win the race to the corner and turn it upfield to the end zone. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. 
So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Finding Evans here going across the middle of the field. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Here's Mayfield. Now there's a short one taken in by Otten. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Mayfield with it once more. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. White, he'll try the left side. And he's got room. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 130 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. It's grabbed over the middle by White. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Oh, let's turn it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. His throw incomplete. The Bucks on third down. Now they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This will be third and five. Throwing Mayfield. Out route, and the ball is caught by Godwin. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down. He needed five. He got it barely, as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. 
After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here's third down at five. To throw, Mayfield. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Trey Palmer. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. McLaughlin for the extra point. It's up and good, and the lead's now down to three at 20-17. to 17. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And Raheem Blackshear now to return it. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. It's one play at a time, baby. Second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he will have a Panther first down. And it is celebration time on that sideline, and they've earned it. And they take a knee. Let's go now. Let's go. Get it done as a group. Yeah. 
It's a second down run with Sanders. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Down to an ego young, and that should be the final act in this one. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. This is taken at the 10. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Tampa.